nice two week break and I am ready to get back on my board and get some more skating in. So today we're keeping it relatively local. Uh, I'm local to Hamilton uh, and we are heading over to Milton today to check out two different parks. So Milton has a much older park that we're going to check out. But first we're going to head over to the newer park over at the community center and I did a uh, an episode on the bowl specifically at that park uh, in the first season. Uh, the first season I was all about the bowls, man, and back then my knees were still feeling fine and I was having a great time. Uh, this year I'm going to go and check out the, uh, the street part. So I have skated the street section before, but I have not covered it for an episode of the Ontario Skate Park Tour. So we're going to do that. So let's head over to the newer of the two uh, Milton skate parks and check out the street section and I'll give you a little shot of the bowl and maybe throw in some clips of when I did skate it. And then we're gonna head over to the original Milton Park. All right, I'll see you there. All right, here we are at the uh, Milton Community Skate Park over at the Milton Community Center. And we got the bowl in the back over there, and I am out here on the uh, the street course. So as you can see, lots of nice flowing lines, lots of humps to roll over for speed. Um, over here in the back corner, we got a little bowled out pocket with some pool coping, some ledges, you know, all your classic sort of street obstacles. So as always, I'm going to take you for the tour, then I'm going to stretch for a little bit and kind of loosen up my legs. I'll take you over to check out the bowl on the tour. And uh, then we'll put in a little clip of bowl skating from the first season when I skated the bowl. And right now I'm still not skating bowls. So even when I covered the Vanderhoof skate park um, earlier this season, I did throw on the knee pads, but I didn't actually knee slide. And I one of my biggest concerns, my knees are holding together right now, thankfully. And I, I really do feel like knee sliding was just pulverizing my knees. Like that was a big problem uh, or part of the problem I was having with my knees. My hope is towards the end of the season, maybe in November, I'm going to skate a few bowls and just see how my knees hold up. But if they start to bother me, at least it's November and I can take the winter off. But that's why I'm not skating the bowl here today. Um, I, I really can't skate the bowl the way I'd like to skate the bowl and the way that I know my skill level could allow me to skate the bowl. So I'll show you the bowl and hopefully when you come here, you can skate the bowl. But we're here for the street park and then we're off to the older of the two Milton parks. But let's start here.
pardon the backlight, but this is the, uh, the way we're leaving the skate park. And that's it for our time here at the first uh, and newest Milton Skate Park here at the Community Center. And we're gonna go head over to the old one, and I didn't have a lot in the gas tank today, I gotta say. It's been a very unusual week for my business. I ended up working about 75, 80 hours in five days. And to be honest, I didn't even want to come skate today. I was pretty gassed out, but uh, I can't miss an opportunity to get uh, wheels on concrete. So I came out, but I didn't have a lot to uh, put together today. Let's go see what we can do at the old Milton Skate Park. Alright, here we are at the old park. I know what you're saying. Wait a minute. That sign said Freestyle BMX Facility. And on top of that, what's up with this, Ryan? I thought you didn't go to prefab parks. I don't. <laughs> there is a full concrete park here, but I just thought I'd let you know that if you were coming this way and you feel like uh, blasting some huge airs on your board, well, you got this, uh, this side of the park over here which is a couple of prefab ramps. I've never seen anybody use this section before in my life. All right, let's head across the parking lot and over to the actual skate park. Okay, so as you can see, not, uh, not much more than lots of rails and ledges going on here. But look, if you're into ledges and rails, this place is going to be heaven for you. This is a pretty old park, but let's talk uh, quickly about a couple really redeeming qualities, I think, of this park. So we got a, uh, a double set here, which I always thought was really cool. Uh, big fat round rail can be a little tricky to skate. Very tall ledge, but hey man, maybe you got your, uh, your pop is top notch and you can get on there. I also like that this sort of juts out here and you've got this ledge to uh, stair gap. We've got this monster ledge here. You know, we got some angle iron on it, so this thing will go. But here's the question, where are you going? And yes, I get you could just pop on, grind for a little bit and then pop off. But like, would it have killed them to either end the ledge sooner or extend the concrete a little bit? Like, I always, there's always something weird at these older parks where there's like a ledge to nowhere or a set of stairs that leads into the dirt or something weird. Um, if you've been watching the Dew Tour and some and X Games Bowl contest, then uh, you know sort of one of the tricks that's trending nowadays is popping out of transition, stalling on something and popping back in. And boy, oh boy, are you in luck if that's your, your thing going on. And I've done them in the past, but... <laughs> It's not my thing right now, and this is a pretty gnarly one, so for sure, you can pop up here, do yourself a nice smith stall, and boo, pop right back in. Go for it, man. But overall, this park just is a lot of uh, ledges and rails, and it's just very straightforward back and forth park. Uh, I'm gonna roll around a little bit today, but I don't know if I'm even gonna get any clips here, because I'm just, I'm not feeling it today. I'm really, I'm just exhausted, so good thing I didn't travel too far to, for the, uh, the tour this morning just out to Milton and home. Um, what I will do is put some clips of when I skated this thing about 15 years ago when I originally came here. So this thing has been here a long, long time. All right, so other than that, let's check out a few clips. Uh, I gave you the tour already so you can see what's here. And if you're coming to Milton, it's worth doing both parks for sure. They were less than a 10 minute drive apart. So if you're gonna check out one, check them both out, come here, make a little day skate of it. But that's it, not a big episode today. We didn't travel too far, but uh, coming up. Uh, so the following week, I am going to Cedar Point and Kings Island theme parks down in the United States, going down uh, for a little week vacation with my wife and the dogs. So we're gonna have a good time down there. So no Ontario Skate Park Tour. 
I'm back in September and September's nice because everybody's back in school so I have a little bit more leeway as to when I can get to the skate parks and how long I have the parks until you know people start showing up I don't have to get here so early anymore but we've got a big one planned for the first week of September we're hitting sort of the 401 corridor outside of Toronto so Port Hope uh, Trenton Pickering I think there's one in Kingston I'm hitting I got to double check my, my trip plans but uh, we got a bunch coming up that's going to be a two-day trip so lots more skate parks to hit we're going straight through till November this year but that's it for today we're keeping it local to Milton and if you're in the Milton area swing by check out both parks for sure all right I'll put in a couple clips and that's it for today I'll see you in the next episode.